Right. So the 2011 census results, which were uh, released um, in late 2012, showed that uh, London had uh, a major change in the ethnic composition of its population, from 58% white British in 2001 to 45% white British in uh, 2011, so from a clear majority to a clear minority um, made up of white British people. Uh, and during this period, the the actual number of white British in the city declined by 620,000. So it wasn't just a relative decline, it was an absolute decline. At the same time, of course, London's population as a whole grew by, by over one million people. So how do we explain this disjuncture between rapid uh, non-white British growth, uh, that's ethnic minority plus European immigrants, at the same time you get considerable drop in, in the white British because if London's booming it should attract everybody but it didn't uh, and if we in fact drill down to the level of the ward uh, we see exactly the same thing that the wards that is places with populations of about 10 to 30,000 wards which gained the largest number of immigrants and, and minorities tended to lose the largest number of white British and in, if you look up and down England uh, the same pattern tends to hold at um, ward in at local authority level. So if you look at local authorities, the local authorities which tended to gain uh, the most, Birmingham for example, gained the most ethnic minorities, lost the most white British and so forth. Uh, so what explains this apparent pattern? Uh, it, it seems quite puzzling. So what explains this pattern? It's quite puzzling. Um, why would you get white British decline where you get minority growth? There's two major explanations. One is the materialist explanation, which argues that actually the reason for this is simply that uh, whites are tend to be better off, tend to be employed, or homeowners, and therefore are in better uh, in a better position to be mobile and to move to more desirable, leafier areas. The alternative explanation is the white flight explanation, which suggests that white British are uncomfortable with the ethnic changes that are brought on by immigration and diversity, and that prompts them to leave, which would then explain why you get uh, white British decline where you get minority increase. Uh, we actually find that neither of these two explanations makes a, a great deal of sense. So for example, if you consider the uh, materialist explanation, we find it's, actually, it's not the better off, but in fact it's the working and lower middle classes that really are the ones who are leaving, disproportionately leaving diverse uh, areas for whiter areas. And that kind of goes against the argument that would say people who you know, it's the whites who have the means and therefore they're the ones who are leaving diversity and the minorities have no choice, they're trapped there. So that doesn't seem to work. Uh, on the other hand, the white flight argument would make the claim that it's white British who are uncomfortable with the ethnic changes locally and that's why they elect to leave as minorities move in. But that too is problematic because if that were the case, we'd expect that the white British who uh, decide to leave would be more conservative or more concerned with immigration and race than the white British who remain behind or who move from uh, white areas into these diverse areas. And in fact, we don't find uh, evidence. We find that actually the white British who leave diverse areas are, if anything, somewhat more liberal in their attitudes to immigration and race than the white British who remain behind. So that's quite powerful evidence, we think, uh, against the white flight hypothesis. Uh, so what then does explain it? In our view, what's going on is something that we term unconscious segregation, which is that people tend to be attracted to areas for reasons that are linked to ethnicity but are not about ethnicity. So for example, if, if you're white British, there's a greater chance that your friends and family uh, will live in whiter areas. You, there's a greater chance that you'll have social networks that tie you to areas outside of London or in, uh, in outer London or in the periphery outside the M25 and therefore you'll be more likely to move to those areas whereas ethnic minorities are more likely to have family and friendship ties uh, within London, particularly within diverse areas. So that's one thing. The other thing too concerns amenities. Um, so if you're, even if you're a Pakistani who isn't particularly interested in living near other Pakistanis, if you are Muslim and you need to have a mosque within a certain distance, then that's going to tie you to a particular area. Uh, and so, and, and perhaps for white British, uh, other amenities might be important, perhaps it's pubs, perhaps it's garden centers, whatever. So the, the differential location of different amenities also, we think, might be playing a role in this. And then finally, there are just unconscious factors 
again, the way in which people read different areas, the way in which different ethnic groups uh, evaluate different areas could be culturally specific. It's not, again, the point here is it's not about defending ethnic boundaries and, and wanting to live in a, in a white area or uh, in an ethnic minority area. It's, it's about these uh, factors which are associated with ethnicity, but, but it's not ethnicity that's driving these choices. So the question then becomes, is this a worry, the pattern that we see? Um, and on the one hand, it's not a worry because people aren't consciously segregating, segregating themselves from each other. So there isn't ethnic animosity that's driving the picture. But on the other hand, uh, there is a concern that even if this segregation is unconscious and unintended, uh, there are con uh, consequences that could arise from this. So for example, if white British uh, are leaving very diverse areas, then that's going to make these areas essentially, eventually, there'll be very few or, or, or almost no white British in these diverse areas. And that could impede integration. And so in that sense, perhaps there, there is a concern uh, over some of the patterns that are, that are taking place.